It's IBC 2022 and we're here at the Theatrics stand for one of three videos we're doing here. We're back with Eric to talk about this pretty impressive, pretty amazing LED screen. So tell us a bit more about it. Yeah, well, uh, we've been involved with LEDs for 15 years now and we wanted to bring everything that we've learned for the experience and sourcing all the best parts as far as is signal processing but also the mechanical parts of it yeah. because it's quite important to make sure you have proper alignment and something that's easy to service. Yeah. And that's how we came about that new series, which is the Exigen Nomad, okay. featuring our TPEP uh, module system. TPEP. Yeah, TPEP is Go kind on. of a mouthful. It's a titanium polymer edge protection. Fantastic. So okay. on the modules, we actually have a titanium bar that goes on the angles and all the parameters of all the modules. And that makes it, and the purpose for that? It basically protects the, the, the pixels on the side of your panels, which are the okay. ones that are most likely to be damaged. Yeah. And then the polymer side of things is for the polymer that we coat in between the LEDs. Yeah, absolutely. We can't, I mean, I can't see the edges here. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. They've been saved. Yeah. Should we go around the back and have a look? Sure. So we're around the back now, and this is a, a pretty impressive array here. This is all very clever, pretty scary, actually. Um, so um, LED walls, they're now big in uh, virtual production XR. What makes this, this display a good choice for those just about to invest? Well, uh, for us, it was important to get something that has obviously um, a better return on investment, something that will give you that high quality image without breaking the bank. Okay. But also that will uh, make the service easier, so less downtime. Okay. which is important for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, across the main factors as well is that on the signal processing side, we've ramped up the refresh rate okay. from 3,800 to 7,640 hertz. 7,640? Yeah. So is there anyone else going d d doing this? Is this, is this there, There's a few other there's a few players. Others, uh, I, I'd say there's about three of us that have kind of an exclusivity on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what it really gives you is that when you double the refresh rate, you double the grayscale. So as we okay. go dimmer in brightness, yeah. which is typically the case when you're in front of cameras. Of course. You're going to go lower in brightness. So that means that your image becomes dull or like kind of faded away yeah, because yeah, yeah, you yeah, lose yeah. on the grayscale. Yeah. So having you lose that kind of contrast, that impact. Of the, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So having double that refresh rate means double the grayscales. Yeah. So I can drive that screen at 10 or 15 percent and still remain with those vivid colors. OK, yeah. And the, the image processing, the, the, the LED processing, is it Brompton and Novastar? We offer both. Okay. It's really up to the customer. Yeah. We can do Brompton, Novastar. I would say that most of the market is asking for Nova Scott, Nova Star at the moment. Okay. But uh, both options are available, and it's really up to the customer what they need. Their success is basically our success. So we try to supply a solution that is bespoke for their needs mm. in whatever situation. And of course, um, this applies to you know LED walls are not only in. I mean, you know, the new world is XR and, and, and virtual production but they've been outdoors for a long time. Are we okay outdoors with this? Yeah, we have uh, indoor or outdoor. Basically, the system is the same. The cabinets are uh, rated indoor or outdoor, so okay. they have an IP rating. Yep. The only thing that will change is that the modules that we're using, if you're going to be outdoor, it's going to be a little bit uh, lower. It's about 1,200 nits. Okay. And if you need an outdoor solution, then we can supply higher brightness modules for about 5,000 nits. Okay, and it, I mean, uh, None of that affects the image because the image is great. You've got a great viewing angle as well. Yeah, um, and that's also part of the TPEP. Since okay. we're using the polymer in between of uh, the, the LEDs, okay. we don't need plastic shaders. So it gives you two main benefits, that viewing angle, which you yep. just talked about. Yeah. But also, since we don't use any plastic shaders, we're removing a matrix from the screen. Right. So that plastic grid that usually goes in between the yeah, LEDs yeah, yeah, yeah. gives kind of a moiré effect on the yeah. cameras. With it's the liquid shaders, picture. it's removed, and yeah. you the only matrix you'll get is the pixels, the actual pixels on the image. And so delivery, again, we're all struggling with deliveries at the moment with, with, with lead times. I'm Go happy on. to say that on the indoor models, we yeah. have plenty of stock. Okay. So it's basically a two to four weeks getting the cable assembly done, yep. depending on the size of your kit, 
the, which country in the world you are. Yeah, You'll need different type of cables or power distribution. Yeah. Uh, but aside from that, it's about two or three weeks calibration, final QC, putting everything in flight cases and getting shipped to you. I'm getting it to you. And if it's a specific project, something that's almost uh, all custom made, yep. we're talking about eight to 12 weeks. Easy peasy. Now, if somebody, yep. is that IBC booth number for them to come and see you? Booth number is Hall 7, boot B02. Great. And if it's after IBC and they can't, come to the booth, where do I send them? They can always reach us on theatrix.com, triple W, theatrix with two X, dot com. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Eric. That's one of three videos we've done here with uh, Theatrix. Um, go and find them on kitplus.com and make sure you subscri subscribe to the channel.